In the similar manner, instead of using this translate x10, if we use here, there it goes, x48. Now if we reload, we can see that this will be the result. The box is now shifted in the right direction of this particular web page and it is practically placed beneath this yellow box of box 3. So all we can do instead of using this translate x condition, we may use this translate y to see the result and if we reload and if we reload, we can see that this will be the result. It is now practically deviating in the bottom of this particular container by 12 RDM. Now what happens if we use some negative values, some negative classes right over here. So we are just putting a negative value right over here. And we will see that the box 2 is now in the upward position to its parent container that was holding it previously. So that means we have practically translated, we have deviated our box out of the parent container that was holding it earlier and here goes the result. Now what if we wish that both the deviation will occur, that means both along the x-axis and along the y-axis. So in that case, we need to apply them both. We need to apply here, yes, So we have applied both the translate conditions over here, this translate x48 and this translate y48 class. We have made usage of both of them. Now if we get back to our project and reload, we can see that the deviation occurs. It is now practically shifted into this left position, but along the x-axis, but it is also shifting in the upward part of this particular web page due to this particular command of translate y48. So we have met usage of them both. And in the last case, so that is why we will be getting back to our text editor. And here, first of all, let's remove all those additional classes those we have created so far. And in the first case, let's put them back into normality. There it goes. Press Ctrl S, get back to your project and reload. Now we can see that this will be the result. Everything is restored to normal. There's, there's no particular classes of transform properties being imposed on all those individual elements. And in the next case, the first thing that we are going to learn here is all about the implementation of them into our project. For say, what if we wish to uh, make some transform properties to some individual elements like if we are using an image right over here what will be the immediate result the first thing all we need to do we need to put on some kind of images into all those boxes so instead of this box one box two let's bring on some images first of all let's specify the source right over here There it goes. And this is the folder name which is known as images. And inside these images, this is the uh, image that we are going to use like for say this foxmall.png. So all we are going to do here, we are going to copy it and we will be pasting it over here. In the next case, we'll be using some class such as if we we are using here this individual one object cover. Well, we had made a total discussion of what it is exactly going to be. What is about using this individual class of object cover uh, in our previous video tutorial? So, in case if you feel something uncomfortable, if you or if you think that we are moving faster, then all you can do, you can get back to see all those previous videos, those we have uploaded. And you may see the immediate discussion right over there, right into those videos. So there isn't any problem. All we are doing here, we are practically mentioning that the 
that the image here it will be covering this whole object of this individual box here which has all those individual properties with an width of with width 48 classes right over here and we are mentioning a definite height to it so there it goes now if we get back to our project and reload we will see that this will be the immediate result there goes the box with a definite image into it we may put something else right over here like instead of this cover we may make usage of this object fill get back to your project and reload and you can see that there goes the result but instead of this object fill i think the previous was was far better object cover because it was a little bit of stretchy here we want something stretchy so there it goes this is the first box in the next case instead of this uh, box property first of all let's copy it let's copy this individual image here and instead of box 2 we are applying the same thing here and the same thing goes for this box 3 now if we press control s and get back to our project and reload we can see that this will be the result all of those child boxes all of these child boxes those are practically holding the same image inside it now the next thing is we are first of all applying some kind of hover properties into these individual boxes right over here 